weather that the Lord has given us today. We thank you for coming out. I'm, my name is Mike Mauer. I'm a pilot with JARS. JARS is the technical support arm for Wycliffe Bible Translators. Supporting Wycliffe Translators through transportation services with airplanes, communication services with radios, computer services, vernacular media services, construction and maintenance, purchasing and shipping, trucking, just about anything that it takes to get the job of Bible translation done around the world. We're supporting Wycliffe translators in that way. Today our pilot for the demonstration flight is Hal Stone. Hal has flown with JARS in Brazil, Liberia, and Colombia. He serves now as the chief pilot at the JARS Center in North Carolina, near, near Charlotte, North Carolina. The airplane we're using today is a Helio Courier. JARS flies about 40 aircraft in different countries around the world. We have uh, 12 Helio Couriers, some in this country and others in the Philippines, in uh, Peru and Indonesia. And uh, so we're using this aircraft to support our translators in remote areas. We like this airplane because of its very short takeoff and landing capabilities. The aircraft is different from most airplanes. As you can see, um, it has such a large wing, a large wing area to create lift. On the trailing edge of the wing are the large wing flaps. They create, again, more lift and drag for short landing and takeoff performance. The front edge of the wing, okay, on the aileron, the aileron is designed to control or get maneuverability at very slow speeds. On top of the wing, you can't see it from this angle, but when he moves that aileron, a spoiler comes out of the top of the wing that gives controllability at very slow speed. You'll demonstrate that in flight, and you'll be able to see that spoiler. The leading edge slats, slats also create more lift. They come out automatically. They're all independently automatically operated, depending upon the speed of the aircraft and the load, the weight that it's carrying. The tail of the airplane has a stabilator, a flying tail. It gives very uh, good control, again, at slow speeds. So all together, combined with an engine and propeller combination that provides short takeoff and landing performance, this is the premier stall or short takeoff and landing airplane in the world today. It operates on fields. Some other airplanes can land on those, but uh, they have no margin. This airplane gives a wide margin for error, margin for safety. Hal's going to start up here in a few minutes. And I'll be quiet since he'll be so noisy until he gets uh, until he takes off. This particular airplane has long-range tanks. When he uh, when he starts to take off, and you can see the top of the wing, you'll see four red fuel caps, 30 gallons in each of those tanks. That gives him eight hours of flying time in this airplane. That's about a thousand miles that he can travel in one leg. You don't like to fly that long at one time in a small airplane, but he can do it. I had the opportunity to fly one of these airplanes to ferry it to Cameroon, West Africa, uh, three years ago. From Charlotte, North Carolina to Africa, we put an extra 150-gallon tank in the cabin so I could fly for 18 hours. We flew to St. John's, Newfoundland, the Azores Islands across the Atlantic, Canary Islands, Senegal on the west coast of Africa, the Ivory Coast, and then to, to Cameroon.
this airstrip is 1,200 feet long. Many of the fields we use overseas are past that, 600 feet. And I've flown this particular type of airplane into a field of 470 feet long. about four plane lengths. He's going to taxi back and do another short takeoff and then do a, from the south of the field towards the hill behind us, we'll do a series of maneuvers to demonstrate the maneuverability of the airplane at slow flight and also the entire speed performance.
On the next pass, now we'll have the airplane slow down again. And we'll begin uh, showing a series of maneuvers. We'll be rocking its wings to the bank, about 50 degrees of bank, to indicate the maneuverability of the airplane at slow speeds. Look closely as he makes those steep banks. You'll be able to see those spoilers at the top of the wing. Look at the high wing. You can see the spoiler pop up. Again, most aircraft in that regime would enter a, an accelerated stall and fall to the ground. We talked about the leading edge slats. On the front of the wing, the leading edge slats that, that contribute to its smoke flight performance. Now comes around this time, they'll do a series of purpose maneuvers, pitching the nose up and down, and you'll be able to see the slats open and close. In a slow flight regime, the slats, those small devices on the front of the wing, carry 65% of the weight of the airplane. Flying along at about 50 knots. As it pitches up, you'll see the slats open. Open. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. The slats serve to increase the wing area that gives more lift. They also control the airflow over the top of the wing to prevent the wing from stalling. When you hear about an airplane stalling, it's not the engine that's quitting, it's the wing that quits flying. The leading edge slats prevent the wing or the wing and the helio from stalling. Now again is doing a series of figure eight maneuvers to show the slow flight capability of the airplane. If you're doing a survey or you're looking for someone in a search and rescue operation uh, mission, you may need to get down low on the trees and fly slowly and circle. Coming back to land, can you please move quickly? Okay, cross quickly. Airplane's landing. Well, he's going to give us another slow pass. Not landing at this time. This is what we call the hover pass. Showing minimum control of the to get down to 30 knots. Airplane. The seats that are in it have been designed by us and tested by NASA. They're a, a uh, crushable seat, which in an accident will, will crush and, and deform and absorb the energy that the pilots or the passenger's body will take otherwise. The cargo pod on the belly of the airplane is one of our designs. We designed and built it, got it approved through the FAA. Allows us to carry out more cargo when we have the plane filled with people. Some of you that have ridden can tell that there's not much room in the cabin when you fill all the seats. But we can put 360 pounds of cargo in the pod. Tribal people that see the airplane with a pod that have never seen one before call it the pregnant airplane. And they wait for the baby to come out. Now it's coming back for one more. One more is the oil man.
That concludes the STOL demonstration of the Indian Courier. We'll probably do one later today. Passengers holding ticket number 22 can come and uh, prepare for morning. And now, stop the airplane and step out. Let's go get them uh, uh, around the front.